Hey guys, I did a video several weeks ago about a dirty little secret, and some people took it the wrong way. Okay, first of all, let me explain uh, the two types of videos I do. I just started doing shorts. This is a short because it says right here, it's a short. Um, and it was a dirty little secret about an SS gun. I need to explain a little further because People totally misunderstood what I was saying. But in a short, I only have 60 seconds. So there's not a lot of education, not a lot of explanation. It's like hit it and you're out. Um, but this, I think, deserves a little more attention because it was taken the wrong way. And so I normally don't care when people make comments like you're ugly and you're stupid, but I do mind it, but not that much. But in this case, um, they, they took it to mean the dirty little secret was I ripped somebody off. I cheated somebody out of a gun. When in fact, what I was trying to say is the dirty little secret is not everybody who calls themselves an expert really is. And that's the story of how I came across this gun, which is an SS contract PP. Okay, in the short that I did, I unpacked this a PP. Now, bear in mind, a lot of people say, well, why do you bother doing the shorts? Well, it has 65,000 views, and several of the shorts I did have over a million views. You guys want a lot more detail, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over a lot more detail than I did on the short. Um, now, I did unpack it, and I pointed out, there's the serial number, 204, well, let's remember, 204851. So this is the original box, and uh, inside this is the original cellophane with the cl uh, cleaning rod. Unpack that. Uh, this is actually an early manual. I had just happened to have, this is a manual from 1939, 1940, and actually this would be the correct manual for here, but this is an earlier manual and it came with this gun, so I'm not gonna mix and match. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it together because this is the way it came. Also, there's no reason to believe that they would have thrown away the old manuals. It's very possible they put an earlier manual. And by the way, I know the date is uh, 10 of 36, so that's the date. Uh, again, this is an earlier style. This is the more common later style. Uh, so we unpack the um, manual that came with it. I love the cleaning tit, tits. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the cleaning kit. Uh, um, that really was a Freudian slip. Uh, the early cleaning kit has the Walder Met banner and factory on it. And when I open it up, you can see the rag, which is Walder marked. Uh, this is the cleaning uh, material for cleaning the bore. Again, has the uh, while the banner and cellophane, just like this cellophane. And there's original oil from 1940. Original oil, don't you love it? I think I'll put some on my gun. Uh, we'll set that aside. Now this um, piece of wood I don't think belongs. It should be, it should be uh, yellow, but it did come with three dummy rounds. Somebody just wrote to me and say, why, why the dummy rounds? Well, um, that's how you know they're drilled. These are the original dummy rounds. Uh, the only reason I use dummy rounds, just like today, I use dummy rounds to check the cycling. So I often will put these in the gun and then just see how it feeds. I just rack it back uh, several times and the shells come popping out. And that's just a way to test that it's working properly. So this is the gun itself. I would say this is in uh, mint condition. You see the fire blue here. You see zero wear, I'd call this a 99% gun. Look at the front strap and the back strap. Let's do the other side of the gun. You see the Eagle end, which means, uh, well actually it dates to 1940, so we know it was uh, 1940 is the serial date. And then you see the serial number on the slide, which they didn't start numbering the slides until about the 250,000 range. Slide is numbered, which is my first clue that it is an SS contract. I also uh, see the serial number right here. So it's a matching serial number on the box. I already mentioned the box has the matching serial number. Serial number on the frame and serial number on the slide. So this was posted on the forum, the box with this gun. 
Uh, by the way, this was posted 10 years ago on a collector forum. Uh, this is the uh, creme de la creme. <laughs> this is the best part. It has both original matching magazines. So if you take a look at the serial number, the one, uh, number one mag underneath and number two mag, uh, this one happens to have a finger extension. I assume this is all the way, uh, uh, all of this is the way it came from the factory. So one flat bottom, one finger extension, two matching mags, immaculate gun. A guy posted it on the forum and the so-called experts on the forum chimed in right away. Uh, he was asking $1,800. Again, 10 years ago, people, uh, in fairness, people didn't know that much about the SS contract guns. Um, but they immediately said, this is fake. They said they, didn't start, they did not start numbering the slides until the 250 range, which is true on the commercial guns. Um, they also said this, this is a different font, which it is a little bit different, different font. Uh, the font actually matches the font on the magazines. And so they said the magazines are faked. The numbering on the slide is faked. In fact, they went as far as to say somebody took a beautiful commercial gun and ruined it. And therefore, um, it, st it sat on the forum for about a week until I logged in. I, I don't go, I used to go on the forums at least every week. And so I logged in after it had a long thread of people saying this is fake and nobody bought it. I then said, I'll take it. So I bought it $1,800. I just happened to have kept the original tag. Not that that's a big deal, but that just reminds me, it brings a smile to my face. I bought it for $1,800. So the people on the forums said, well, I ripped them off. I cheated them. I knew it was worth more. Um, I need to back up a bit. We literally did back up a bit. Um, so 10 years ago, I used to walk gun shows all the time. And in fact, the Louisville show, I would always find four or five SS guns that the dealer didn't know they were SS. I would walk up and say, how much do you want for this? They'd say 800 bucks. I'd look at it and he'd say it has a matching magazine. I'd say, great, I'll take it. I'd buy it. And then after I bought it, I would say, did you know this is an SS gun? And they would say, well, how do you know? Back then, a lot of people didn't know. I think the only book that was out then was the Red Book, and generally it uh, was available in Europe and Germany. It was uh, first published in Germany. Uh, and so only a few collectors knew about the SS contract. So 10 years ago, what was this worth? Well, there weren't a lot of people looking for or knowing what an SS contract gun was. It wasn't until the books came out, and most recently my own book, on SS contracts, um, there really are a lot of contracts and I document all the different contracts of PPs and PPKs um, and I give the serial ranges and so you see here there is a whole, uh, there's actually 2,500 guns that went to the SS and they're all in the 204 serial range. So when I saw the 204, back then I didn't have this book, I was just beginning to learn and when I saw the, the serial number on the slide and the two matching mags, I was pretty sure it was SS. Now, if people knew it was SS, what would it have sold for back then? It probably would have sold for about 2,500. So I didn't steal the gun. And besides that, nobody else wanted it. I paid him full price. And he actually, he was uh, an honest guy because he said, did you, un did you see that most of the guys on the forum said it was fake? And I said, yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. I'll take the gun. Uh, so that's what went down. And so I got a lot of comments that I stole it, that I was being dishonest. I, I don't view it that way. Now, the other dirty little secret is these things have just gone up exponentially. I don't know what I would get for this right now. There's some of you who are going to write to me and make me offers, and I will just let you know it's not for sale. I have no interest in selling it. I, I mean, if I find another one, I might. But for right now, it's not for sale. It, it'll go, uh, well, actually, my son, my son will deal with you someday if it, if it ever is up for sale. Um, but they have doubled and then tripled and in some cases quadrupled in value. So again, what it was worth 10 years ago, it, it's gone up quite a bit. I would venture to say I could easily get 6,500 for it, uh, maybe as much as 8,500. Okay, since this is not a short, but rather a full length video, I might as well give you your money's worth. I did the PP, now uh, the counterpart, and by the way, a lot more PPKs were SS than PPs, meaning there were more in the contract. The uh, SS 
Um, most people say these were like plainclothes officers or Gestapo uh, agents because um, they, they preferred the smaller weapon. So there's actually like quadruple the number of PPKs. PPKs are, none of them are common, but these are more common. So I might as well show you a boxed PPK. Uh, again, the counterpart to the PP. This was made around the same time. The serial number is off, but um, around the same time, around 1940, uh, this is the um, manual that I showed before, and you do see the date is April of 39. There's the cleaning rod, uh, but no cellophane. Uh, notice the difference in the dummy rounds. Now these, these are pink. Notice this one, there was three in like a triangle or a trapezoid. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a trapezoid. Um, here you can see them along the bottom and it also tells me it never had a finger extension because it wouldn't fit. There's the uh, cleaning kit and it's also the early one. We'll see what's inside uh, this time. <laughs> That oil doesn't look right. The other one was darker oil, but uh, this doesn't have the rag and the cellophane is open. Uh, still, it is an original tin. And here is the gun. You'll notice once again, uh, first of all, you'll notice it's in mint condition, mint condition, uh, eagle in. And it's hard to see, but there is the serial number. Now, if you remember, I said on the PPs, they started numbering the slide at 250 or about 250. On the PPKs, it was about 350. Again, if you buy my book, it goes all through. I go through the details. I won't explain it. You'll, ex you'll take my word for it. Um, but the font, again, is a light strike and it's not the same font as here. So here you can see it's a little bit larger and the fact that it's numbered on the slide before they commonly started doing that. And the added bonus, of course, is the matching box. This, by the way, the red label means uh, with signal indicator pin, which is right there. That means when it's loaded, the pin sticks out. And so it's a signal indicator pin, meaning it tells you the gun is loaded. Uh, so it has the matching box, uh, matching slide, frame, and two matching magazines. Uh, again, if we go to the book, there's the, the gun, and it says 99% with two matching mags in the original box. It also says there are almost exactly 2,000 guns in this particular contract. Uh, the box PPK, by the way, is also not for sale, but here is one that is for sale. So I'll just show this to you quickly. Uh, this came in this week. Um, it has corrosion. You see the serial number is 204 again, serial range, and so it's in a similar range. This is 851. This is 862. You do see that it's numbered here, but again, a lot of corrosion. 1940 SS gun marked on the slide, and we check the magazine, and we hope and pray <laughs> that it is matching, and lo and behold, it is. So it does come with one matching mag as an SS gun, and we will be offering this one for sale. Okay, so just a little more detail on that dirty little secret. One thing I wanted to make sure I clarified, there are experts on the forums, but everywhere in life, whether you go to gun shows or you stop into the local shop, and if you get on the internet, there are people who are experts. I should know because I'm a moderator on one of the forums. But there are also people who are pretenders. They like, to, they like to impress you with how much they know when they really don't know what they're talking about. And if you watch my videos regularly, I get on here and I say, now here's a gun I know nothing about, and I ask for your help. And that's an attitude I wish we all could adopt. Thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. BAM!